contract. If somebody walked up to me with a contract full of the signatures of the people who love me, giving me permission to kill myself, I would. If my mother, who raised me with her two hands, watched every single softball game I ever played in, always made sure there was dinner on the table every night after a 40-hour work week, never let me hang up the phone angry without saying I love you, if my mother gave me permission to say I love you and hang up for the very last time, I would. If all of my siblings, the ones I am related to and the ones that I am not, gave me permission to let them grow up without a big sister to lean on, without someone to crack jokes with, without someone to help them understand why dad does not love us, if someone or if my siblings gave me permission to close my bedroom door for the very last time, I would. If my friends, ones who love me with reckless abandon, the ones who love me for no other reason other than the fact that they can, told me it's okay to leave them alone on the kitchen floor at two o'clock in the morning as they eat plant-based ice cream and cry about the boy who left them, I would cut the cake and call it a day blow out all of my candles and make wishes on my deathbed praying that each of you get to live a life that I never could. If I was given permission to go back to the starry skies from which I came, I promise I would return as a golden elixir of rain, reminding you that even on your darkest days I am always here with you. But I understand that humans need something to hold on to, and if I am being given any reason to stay, I hope it would be this. I hope I can be the reason behind why you smile. The reason you tuck yourself into bed at night with thoughts of him. I hope you grow up knowing you can be anything you want to be. And if, not, if you do not give me permission to off myself, I refuse to leave my mother with an empty bedroom in her house, floating above her as she folds the clothes that I will no longer be able to wear, trying to pick out an outfit that she thinks I would like best on my dead body. If not every single person I know signs this contract, I refuse to let my little sister grow up without knowing what a tampon is, let my brothers grow up without knowing just how much they are loved, knowing that blood does not make you family and that just because you are adopted does not mean we don't love you any less, if not every single one of the people that I know signs this contract. I refuse to leave my friends with an empty passenger seat next to them refuse to let them travel down the road of memories we once made together, sing the songs only both of us knew, let them go a hundred miles in the wrong direction simply because they do not have someone to tell them what they need to hear versus what they want to hear, if not every single person I know is on this contract. I will not sign it, but I do hope on the days that I reach out to you, and tell you that I just can't do it anymore. I hope that you will show me a contract full of empty spaces. I pray that you will hand me a pen that can only write stories full of triumph, love, despair, and gratitude. I ask that while I am here, you recognize that it is a choice to stay. I ask that you give me permission to love myself the way that I see fit, to not answer your calls if I don't know how to get out of bed. If you are not going to sign this contract, I ask you to recognize that it is a choice to stay here. I gently ask that you never stop showing me why I chose to, and that no matter what happens or how much I cry, that you please do not ever let me sign this contract because without your permission, I have no reason to leave. And that's good because to be honest with you, I'm 
not ready to go yet.